What's the use of a fine house if you haven't got a tolerable planet to put it on? Henry David Thoreau The Alpans Coalition has been very much concerned about the declining water quality in Green Hill Pond. Uh, I can't remember exactly what the date was, but it was probably in the mid-1980s that the bacterial concentration was sufficient to close the area to shellfishing, which put it really on the radar screen as a place of concern. Every time it rains, nitrogen and disease-carrying bacteria from fertilizer, pet waste, and goose waste washes off the nearly 3,000 lawns in the Green Hill Pond watershed and into the pond. But that's not the least of Green Hill's problems. Those 3,000 homes are built on filled in wetlands, where a high water table often interacts with septic systems, contaminating the ground and pond water with human waste. And all that material washes into the pond, creating high nutrients, which in turn causes algal blooms in the pond. When the algal blooms become excessive uh, and they start to decompose at the end of their life cycle, they use up the bacteria that's decomposing them, it's using up the oxygen, making the potential very high for a fish kill, which does happen. Uh, if the pond degrades further, and uh, this becomes like public knowledge. Uh, I, I can see that it's going to probably reduce the value of my property because no one's going to want to own property near a pond that's uh, polluted or is in what they call poor health. Number one, stop using chemical fertilizers on your lawn. Implement vegetative buffers wherever possible. Um, those certainly are two things that can be done. Clean up your pet, your pet waste. Again, if you have um, a vegetative buffer in front of your, between your, your house and, and the pond, you're also going to uh, discourage uh, geese from coming up in your yard. Uh, places that are wide open spaces what geese like, so they'll go up in your yard and poop and that will wash into the pond as well. Um, certainly the utilization of the best available sewage treatment technology, and I'll leave that very generic because I'm not an engineer, but there are good ways and efficient ways to treat uh, the sewage. Basically people cause the problem fix the problem. It's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot of sacrifice. It's going to take a lot of money. And it really depends on the will of the people. You know, what's it worth to them to, uh, to restore that area? 